One of the features of Nux 3 that I'm most excited about is Nux Extends, a configuration setting that allows your project to inherit components, pages, composables, and other pieces of code directly from other Nux projects. So how does it work? Let's say we have a Nux app called Base App that has Nux Tailwind and Nux Icon installed as modules. Our Base App also has a component called Fancy Quote that uses Tailwind and Nux Icon to provide a nice little quote section that accepts a slot. Then let's say we have a second Nux app where we also want to use our Fancy Quote component. In order to share this functionality, we have a few different options. We could always copy and paste our component code and add Nux Tailwind and Nux Icon as modules inside of our new app. But this method results in a lot of duplicate code and makes it hard to maintain if we want to use this component across several apps. Another option is creating our own Nux module to inject functionality. This method requires a full restructure of our reusable code into a Nux module, which adds complexity because we have to learn Nux module builder Nuxkit in order to get everything working. Or finally, what I think is the easiest solution Nuxt extends. To use it, we can go to our Nux config and say extends and then pass in the relative path to the Nux project that we want to extend. Now we can use our fancy quote component inside of our new app. And when we use extends, we get auto import, type safety, and a lot of the other DX features that Nux3 offers. So if we save our app, we can see our fancy quote working perfectly with all of the styling that we specified from a different Nux project. Another thing to mention is that not only do we have access to our component, but since we're also extending the configuration of our other project, we also have access to Nux icon and Nux tailwind inside of our new app. And just to be clear, we're not limited to components. So let's say in our base app, we had a composables folder that has everyone's favorite favorite example, use counter that has a count ref and an increment method. Since our second app extends base app, use counter is auto imported and we can use it inside of our app. Going even further, we can make changes to server plugins, middleware, layouts, and essentially every Nux specific directory can be inherited with extends. Another cool thing about Nux Extends is that we can add as many different sources as we want. Let's say we have our UI in one Nux project, some logic in another, and our API routes in a third. Instead of passing in a string to Extends, we can pass an array of paths and extend as many projects as we want. But now let's take a look at one of the most exciting use cases that I see for Nux Extends, some of the different ways to share projects. But first, I want to say thanks to the sponsor of this video, Storyblock. Storyblock is a headless CMS that really helps bring your code and your content together. Even though its API works with any tech stack, I've used it in both Nux3 and Astro, and I love how you can build reusable blocks as components, and then directly build and edit with these inside of a nice visual editor. This means that non-technical people on your team can still easily use your custom components. It has great support for internationalization and is super extensible. So if you're looking for a good CMS, I recommend checking out Storyblock. All right, back to the video. So far, we've seen how we can use Nux Extends to extend local projects inside of a Nux app, but we can also extend from different sources. We can use Extend with remote Git repositories. For example, I published my simple fancy quote Nux app onto GitHub. So in our second project, instead of referencing the local path, we can specify GitHub, LearnView Co, Nux Extends demo. And this will work exactly the same, except it will pull our Nux app from our GitHub repo. We could also do something similar with an NPM package. A great example of this is the content win template, which is a Nux content theme. I'll leave a link to it down below, but with the content win starter, you can see that it extends content win, which in this project is an NPM dependency. And if you look for it inside node modules, we can see that its structure looks just like a normal Nux app. And I see this as a great way to share resources between projects. You can have entire themes be open sourced and version controlled, which can add a ton of functionality to your app without having to worry about keeping things like components and composables up to date. I think this opens the door for a lot more developers to get involved in open source because it makes it a lot easier for devs to create and share their project. And even for private projects, I think this will be super valuable to share common functionality. But that's all for this video. And if you can see any cool use cases for Nux Extends, let me know in the comments down below.